Let's talk about a rational function, uh, taking its derivative and evaluating it using graphs um, of g of x and h of x. So in this case, we've defined f of x to be g of x over h of x. Our goal is to find the derivative of f and evaluate that at 3. So to do so, I'm going to have to use the quotient rule in order to find the derivative here. And then we'll use the graphs and fill in, basically. So I know our quotient rule over on the right-hand side has f's and g's already. But remember, this is f. The numerator is f. We're going to take the derivative of the numerator. So I'm going to first kind of write this out. The derivative of our function is going to be the derivative of the numerator. So g is our numerator, evaluated at 3. Multiplied by the denominator, ours is h, evaluated at 3, minus the numerator, g, evaluated at 3, multiplied by the derivative of the denominator, h prime, in our case, evaluated at 3, all divided by the denominator, h of 3, in this case, squared. All right, now that we've written it out, we can work on filling in one piece at a time. So as we look at this, the first piece we have is g prime of 3. Now obviously the point we're looking at, g's graph and an x value of 3. So it's this point that we're kind of concerned about on this graph. However, that point doesn't correlate with g prime of 3. g prime of 3 is going to be the slope of the tangent line to the graph at that point. Okay, so the slope of the line here, it looks like the slope is going to be down 1 and to the right 1. So down 1 and to the right 1. Think rise over run to find an additional point on the graph. We can put negative 1 in for g prime of 3. That's supposed to be multiplied by h of 3. So 3 over here on h's graph looks to be at 4.5. Right, h of 3 is 4.5. We're looking at the actual point on the graph there, not the slope of the line. Then we're supposed to subtract away g of 3. So g of 3, again, is this point that we pointed out over here on g's graph. g of 3 is going to be 6. It's the actual y value. So 6 gets plugged in for g of 3 multiplied by h prime of 3. Now we're still looking at the same point, but remember h prime means the slope of that tangent line. So again, kind of looking through here, if I go down 1 and to the right 1, I think we get to another point that's on our graph. So down 1 to the right 1, rise over run. It also happens to be negative 1 in this case. That's all supposed to be divided by h of 3 squared. So we already mentioned that h of 3 was going to be 4.5. Then we're going to square it. Now we can probably reduce this down a little bit. I guess we get negative 4.5 plus 6 over 4.5 quantity squared. Well, negative 4.5 plus 6 is 1.5 divided by 4.5 quantity squared, 4.5 quantity squared is 20.25. So 1.5 divided by 20.25 is not going to be nice. <laughs> um, I guess if we multiply numerator and denominator each by 100, we could get rid of our decimals. Um, or if you just put this in your calculator, it would be approximately uh, 0 0.074. Um, and I guess that does repeat, so if I put a bar over the top. However, if you're trying to input it into the homework, maybe we, we go with 150 over 2025. And of course, that would reduce down. I got there by multiplying by 100 over 100 to get rid of my decimals, moving the decimal place over two places, numerator and denominator. That would reduce down, but um, I think either way, <laughs> that's not the tough part on this. It's understanding the quotient rule and filling everything in, as well as finding the slopes of those, uh, the tangent lines to the graph at those given points. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck.